could be it. That could be it. That is it. What a way to finish this game. What a way to get your first win. Those last six deliveries, four, six, one, six, six, six. In comes Nats of a brunt. Let's say one of the best all-rounders in the world, the Trent Rockets captain. You always get a sense of when she arrives at the crease. For the Rockets, you feel like to get near the total, she's got to have a good day, averaging nearly 42, striking at 130. She really is a fine player. Yeah, you get the feeling that the, the, the top order for the Rockets is going to have to do the majority of the work. Nat Silver Brunt looked in pretty good order in the first game of this competition, made 49. Bryony Smith in good touch in the second game, she made 70. The rest have not been in that much form. And that's a, a good way to get going. Yeah, Lauren Filer into the attack. A bit short and wide with the first ball, and that Silver Brunt's too good to miss out on that. Cut away to the left of backward point. It's almost the perfect way to start as a batter, that half, isn't it? Yeah, well, you get a bit of pace from Lauren Filer, who, who's got a yard, so it comes on to the bat, and if you get a bit of width, you can use that pace to good effect. Yeah, coming on just as a rain shower falls, which is not ideal from a, a spinner's perspective. Spirit have three good ones in their team, so they'll want this rain to move away so they don't have to bowl with a slippy ball. Well, yeah, you mentioned a slippy ball, but also moisture gets on the pitch. It stops it just gripping and turning and maybe being too pace, you know, just slides onto the bat. But won't want to offer any width. For that reason, all the cover is leg side and it's shorter to the offside, so she want to bowl a tight line to a roundabout middle stump. Yeah, notice how that Silver Brunt didn't try and whack that ball, didn't try to smash it to the boundary, just guided it into the yeah, gap. Yeah. You know it, Lords, the ball will run away, and you just have to pick the gap on the offside. Slightly aerial to mid off. It's the end of that five, 85 balls left, still 106 needed. Well, a muted appeal, the ball nips back down the slope. Well, captain has got to get the right bowlers on at the right end, so Tara Norris, a little bit like Charlie Dean, the set before, has got the right end to bowl from here. Combination of the slope should enable her to keep a tight line at the batter, running it back towards the stumps. Yeah, and a tight line is so crucial when you set the field with two fielders on the leg side. You have deep square leg and fine leg on the boundary. You can't afford to give too much width. We know from the pavilion end, it does lead you back towards the stumps of, of the right-handed batter, but you can't give that silver brunt arms here. Nice one, nice one. Pretty well balanced attack for the spirit, Tara Norris bowling left arm seam. You've got Lauren Filer with a bit of pace, right arm over the wicket. Three spinners uh, of different types. So that's uh, a nice combination for he Heather Knight to call upon. Yeah, the rain's really coming down from our view from the pod now, isn't it? That's what she wanted there. Sarah Glenn just asking the question. Obviously, England players know each other well, and everyone knows that Nat Siver does play that little reverse paddle. And she wanted Heather Knight maybe to take one over, which she now does. Yeah, again, really clever cricket. Two experienced batters at the crease. 
Recognising the ball skidding on, so utilising the pace on offer. Now the option of the paddle sweep because the fielder has come across from the leg side. Dad! Down the pitch, does it land safe? Yes, between two of them. Mid off and long on, tried to get there, neither could. Grace Scrivens, so more spin, this time off spin. That's the fielder that comes across for the reverse sweep. Nat Siver, just Nat Siver Brunt, just playing with the field here. Again, very clever cricket. This is the third occasion. One of the Rockets batters has used the pace. Here are a fine reverse lap or an orthodox lap sweep. So now mid wicket goes to cover that shot. So Nat Siverbrunt looks at that big wide open space. Can she knock it for two? Just past the square leg umpire, you can get two. Oh, now close. Just going down. Umpire Ben Debenham saying not out. Yeah, and a touch of turn. Genuine turn down the slope here. Oh. That's what she was looking for. That was close, that. She was a long way back. Nat Siverbrunt. Clipping or missing. That's very, very close. It did in real time. Oh. Has to be hitting hard. Umpire call. he's always right, isn't he? Hundred percent of the time, apparently. <laughs> 89 needed from 65. Control the length really well. One wicket already. He's a pivotal role in the spirit team. Oh, that's it hard. And just on the spin. See this so much in the game. The second bounce, maybe the first, it spins. Yeah, it's timed beautifully. That's it, but watch this ball spin. Another five done, 77 needed from 55. Change of pace, literally now from leg spin to the pace of Lauren Filer. Siva Brunt has scored most of runs behind square on the offside and leg side with all those dab sweeps, reverse sweeps. Yeah. That's gone square, it's been nailed. Yeah, even. No, I don't think so. I think they're trying to put the umpire off for the wide call. Nat Siver Brunt can't believe it's not a wide. It isn't. 50 balls left, 75 needed. Running left to right, the leg spinner's not really going to spin it up the slope, so she can show her stumps. Nat Siver in a more orthodox stance. It's the beauty of the game, isn't it? Just how things have changed so much. You're good. 
Looks to go up and over and just gets it up and over. Heart and mouth stuff there for Nat Brunt. As Norris thought she was in with an opportunity of picking up the wicket for the London Spirit. Yeah, you feel there's a lot on Nat Siverbrunt's shoulders here, given the way that the Rockets collapsed in the last game and her quality. There's uh, a lot riding on her performance here. What? Of the tournament so far, so far, the number and quality of wrist spinners on show, of which Sarah Glenn is obviously one. Well, she just got over to Tara Norris a few balls ago, and she's well and, clear, well and truly cleared Norris on this occasion. Ominous signs here for the London Spirit. It's a lovely shot. She really floated it up, Amelia Kerr, and uh, that was terrific batting from Nat Siverbrunt, using her feet, getting to the pitch, but giving herself enough room to elevate that over the top of mid-off. Stays down on the shot. And some handy teamwork there from the London Spirit to keep it to two. Danny Gibson's already shown us her class with the bat and the ball today. Pretty handy in the field as well. Nice little tussle forming. Traditional sweep shot, hard, backward of square. And Heather Knight will be thinking, right, I need to do something here. Well, it's top class batting from Nat Siverbrunn. Previous boundary in the set was lofted firmly over mid off, and this one swept hard behind square. No margin for error for the bowler. And once again, just a control. And once again, some handy teamwork. Well, with a little bit of a fumble there from Dean. This is where you go, how good is the 100, isn't it? You've got two of the very best facing off against each other here. Neely Kerr, New Zealander. And that's Siver Brunt. Yeah. Yep, sweeps off the stumps. Dean needs to be quick and clean, and she is. Trent Rockets now needing 55 from 40. Catherine Silver Brunt not playing today. A little bit of a hip injury. A niggle from batting in their last game. She's she is just an onlooker and maybe a little nervous one at the moment. Well, she won't be nervous if Nat Siverbrunn keeps batting like this because against the pace of Filer, she's just stepped back and gone, boom, through the onside. Yeah, really flowing now, Nat Siverbrunn. That's uh, three boundaries in the last five balls that she's faced. And this one's short. She was waiting for it, really, almost as if she expected that to be short and powered away through the leg side. She moves to 49 from 31. Brings up her 50 with yet another classy boundary. Does Nat Siverbrand her fourth 50 within the 100, and the skipper is leading the way. Yeah, another fantastic shot. I, I think she was expecting it short again because she got into that position where she slightly opened up as if expecting the short ball. It was a bit fuller on this occasion, but she went through with the shot in any case, one bounce four. She missed out in the last match the Trent Rockets played, and it was a loss to them there. They haven't won a game yet. Neither team have such an important match. <laughs> Does it get to hands? No, it doesn't. And it hits and turns and spins and has Scrivens twisting and turning in all directions. Dot or a single, they would love it, the London spirit. Yeah. 
It will be the single, so right. Can they squeeze again now with the left-hander on strike? Slower ball, nicely bowled out the back of the hand. Maybe just a leg cutter. Short boundary, and that's a big hit into the grandstand. What a five this is, four, six, one, six. Yeah, they're virtually caught up now. 18 from 16 required. It is the shorter boundary hitting up the hill. But clean striking with the bats that the players use these days. Ten rows back. Yes! And again, four, six, one, six, six. The five that's turning the game towards the tent rockets. 15 deliveries left, 16 needed. It's that one player, Natsiva Brunt. She's been outstanding. 69 from 39. Yes! 23 runs from that set, the highest ever. Absolutely fantastic. Excellent batting. The way to close out a game. Yeah, and they listened to Chris Reed. We went on Chris Reed in that timeout, and you could see him tell both batters to target the short boundary with the off spinner and hit with the spin, and that's exactly what they did. Again, they go leg side, same result. This is brilliant from Nat Siverbrunt in particular. It's a high score in the 100. A quick game is a good game. There was a little bit of a rain delay, half an hour, 45 minutes ago, but that's not going to put a delay on this game. Trent Rockets are closing this game out very quickly and very well indeed. Six required. This ball. Oh, that could be it. That could be it. That is it. What a way to finish this game. What a way to get your first win. Those last six deliveries. Four, six, one. Six, six, six. That is a stunning finish. Target the short boundary. Nat Siverbrunt, 81 not out. Game set a match, the Trent Rockets. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Fantastic batting. Smart batting, and that's the last 10 balls. 1-1-1, one, 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 four, six, one, six, six, six. Magnificent. That one player to lead the team home, to lead by example. And hasn't she done it in style? Absolutely magnificent. This was it. I think it would have been a no ball. It would have been everything, but it doesn't matter. That's the closeout, and that's the game. At Lords, the London Spirit, they go down. Yeah, that strategic timeout was the turning point. It was neck and neck until that point. Chris Reed went on and said, target the short boundary. And that is exactly what they did. First Gardner, then Siverbrunt, and in the end, they won comfortably with 14 balls to spare.